Hello! In today's episode, I show you how to go from this shot in Venice, which is a bit blah, to this. Come and join me. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to episode 46 of my photography, Lightroom and Photoshop tips. My name is Serge Ramelli, and I'm a French photographer living in a beautiful city of Paris, France. Last week's episode, I showed you how to create some presets in Lightroom to very fast uh, put a warm, a cold, or a mix of both look into your photos. If you didn't get a chance to check it out, you will get the link in the description of this video. This week, I take you to Venice, Italy. I want to show you a photo that I took uh, in a late afternoon on the San Marco Plaza, and the sky was getting a bit red, but I took it on automatic white balance, and it came out like this, very blah and very nothing. And I want to show you the full retouching to get to this result. Come and join me and I show you how I did this. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So today I want to show you a little trick that sometimes happens when you take a photo uh, in the end of afternoon. This was taken like uh, uh, right before sunset and the, and the sun was getting, I mean, it was getting reddish in the sky. But when I looked at the photo, I, I was on automatic white balance and this photo came out completely blue. And where did my sky go to? So I want a revenge. And for this, I'm going to bring the reds back and I'm going to bring them even more. I want to show you because it's been a while now. I've not showed you a really uh, from start to finish one of my landscape photography. Now, of course, this is a, you know, a key uh, point in Venice, Italy. It's one of the iconic shots you can get there, you know, from the Place San Marco looking over the other islands. And uh, so, yeah, I, I had some nice red cast in the sky, not visible. So I've got two copies of the photo. It's a virtual copy. It's just to show you faster the before and after because I, I have uh, already done a lot of drilling on it. So it's I cannot just show you the before and after with the black slash key uh, because it's going to show you my diff my um, my prior trials. OK, so let's get started. I open up the shadows. Oh, look at all the dirt that there was there. Ugly. But that's fine. We'll take care of that later. I'm going to bring down the highlights. You know the trick now. And now before I do the white and blacks, I want to take care of the sky. So I want to add a filter. Uh, I'm going to press the option key and make, reset this. And uh, yeah, make uh, an ND filter for the sky. And I'm going to lower the exposure of the sky a little bit. And I'm going to add a bit of yellow and a bit of magenta because that's how it was. Okay, just to start with, I'm going to come back to this. Now that I've done that, I'm going to do my white points and my black points. So option key to the right until I see some soft stuff. You can see some blue dots there. I'm going to come back to it. Yes. And then same thing with the option key. Okay. And like this. Now the white balance is completely off because it was a lot warmer. So let's go into shade. You know that, you know, I can have auto, it's a bit warmer, daylight, it's uh, very colder, cloudy, it's a bit warmer, and shade. Shade is, is a bit warmer than that. Now one question I get a lot is uh, some people say, well, I don't have all these settings that you do have in my Lightroom on my photo. Well, that's because you're not retouching a RAW file, you're retouching a JPEG file, and only RAW file has these options. Okay, now shade is not enough for me, I'm gonna go warmer, it was a lot warmer than that. I'm going to go a lot warmer and you will see that it's the thing is that the photo has hidden red information in it. That's why that when I make it warmer, it, 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 go, it goes a bit natural because it was there in the first place. I'm not just adding color. OK, now that I've made it warmer, uh, I'm going to add some vibrance and I'm going to add some saturation to make it pop a little bit more. OK, it's still not to the level that I want. So I'm going to go back here on the and the filter on the graded filter and I'm going to make a new one or I'm going to take the old one and see if I can add a bit more yellow uh, magenta into it and take the yellow out and uh, make my exposure a bit darker something like that yeah that's more like it that's how more how it was make this maybe a bit lower yes that's how it was a bit warmer like that so you see I've lowered the exposure and added a bit of magenta I really want to get this end of afternoon you know beginning of nice sunset feeling to it okay and makes a nice contrast with the blue boats uh, last but not least that's something that's a little trick that i do i do a double double nd filter 
and uh, I do a second one, a graded filter, I'm sorry, and I make a, a shorter one here on the top to make a vignette effect, which I'm gonna make a slightly a bit darker, just to make a little gradient and add a bit more blue just here in the sky, just a little touch, you know. Check it out, before the ND filters, after the ND filters. It makes the whole, it makes a better gradient. Maybe I'm gonna lower this a little bit, you know. I want a better gradient in the sky and, uh, and a bit more contrast. This is more, I went back to blue, this is more magenta. So you've got a, you know, a color contrast and you've got a luminosity, a lumin uh, sorry, a color gradient and a, and a luminosity gradient going on here. A lot of stuff, you know, check it out before, after. So that's one key point. Now, that's not all. I really, uh, this was a bit how the scene was. Now, I'm gonna go over the top because that's just the way I am. I am over the top on these photos. I love great sunshines. So I'm gonna go to saturation and I'm gonna boost the saturation here in U saturation and luminance. I'm gonna boost the reds, the yellows, and the orange. And woo, ooh la la, you know it starts to come to life. Uh, check it out, that was before, and that's after, quite a change. Now, there's a lot of dirt here, um, and uh, so one way I'm gonna take care of that is I'm gonna take the crop tool, and I'm gonna go up here to take most of the dirt out, and I like also the idea of having one third of, gr of ground and two thirds of sky. I think it's a nice way to make composition, okay? So before I press enter, I wanna take the angle and I'm gonna click here and follow the horizontal line to make sure that my photo, I'm really straight, which I'm definitely, I'm not sure that I am. Okay, something like that. Okay, I was slightly not there. So let me press enter. So now we have, we are more into the photo and I think we've got a better composition. Okay, and um, last but not least, I'm gonna play around with some dodge and burning. Now I'm just gonna try to do this. Uh, well, first let me clean this bottle because this bottle drives me crazy. So let's take the spot hitting brush tool. Let make it the size of the bottle. And uh, yeah, no more bottle, no more bottle. Uh, you know, it's not nice to throw bottles in the water. Don't do that, please. <laughs> okay, let's do some dodge and burning. So I'm gonna take the brush tool and I'm gonna make it my exposure just a little bit. Make sure my flow is at, uh, feather is at 100 and flow around 90, 90. I like flow and density to be around 90. Make sure auto mask is not on, otherwise it's not gonna work. And I just wanna add, you see here how this is a bit bright. I just wanna add some brightness here, brightness there, just to, you know, the eyes follow the brighter spot. I just want the, the water here to be a bit brighter. Just makes it a bit more interesting. Maybe a bit more, something like that. Check it out, before that brush, after that brush. Okay. Now, usually that's when I start playing around with this. I can create a new brush, lower the opacity, make it bigger, and see what happens if I make this a bit bigger, a bit, a bit, a bit darker. You know what, I don't like it. So I just erase the brush. Um, I think, uh, yeah, that was the main thing. I'm just gonna take that brush back, maybe just boost a little bit. Okay, now I see, okay, so I added just, yeah. No, it's a, sorry, it's a bit too much. I'm gonna go back on this brush here and lower a bit. I just wanted to add a bit more shininess to the water. That's all I really wanted to do. And um, now check this out. See how you have a red, green, uh, sorry, a red and a green, uh, lights here, uh, lines, you know, and that's what we called, that's what we call in lens correction, the chromatic aberration. So if I click on it, well, it's gonna, it's not fully taken out, but it's a bit better. It is a bit of a red cast still left over. So in case that's happening, you can just force it even more, but by touching this setting here, sometimes it works, sometimes it does not work. You have to make sure it doesn't work so much, but it's a bit better. Check it out. Remove chromatic aberration. I mean, it's clearly is green here and remove it. It's taking it out. Okay, let's zoom back here. Uh, profile, let's enable profile correction. Okay, it's gonna make everything brighter around. So, you know, uh, if I do that, then I like to go to post crop vignetting and just add some post crop vignetting uh, to it. Something like that, just to 
to get it back okay and uh, that's pretty much it uh, let's take care of the noise let's look if there is noise in the photo okay not so much so uh, a little bit it's a bit grainy here so I'm gonna when it's a bit grainy I go to about 20 just to add to take off some noise and let's add some sharpening let's add some serious sharpening like 90 okay that's kind of cool but I don't want to see how, it, how the sky is getting very grainy I don't want that at all so first I'm gonna get the sharpening to 80 and then I'm gonna go and go back by to 100% view and I'm gonna press the option key and go on the masking until my whole sky is black I don't want uh, any sharpening happening in the sky and this is gonna mask that anything which is black is not gonna get sharpened so that's perfect we, now we have a very soft sky now the last decision I need to make I mean for me is the clarity if I go right I'm gonna have a very edgy look if I go left I'm gonna have a more romantic type of look and I think I'm gonna go for this I'm gonna go like minus 11 on clarity make it a bit softy you know um, now it was in the evening so I'm gonna maybe lower the overall exposure which is gonna boost the colors always okay uh, something like that maybe add just a little bit of contrast because I'm crazy about contrast and that's about it check it out before and after now that's quite a major change now um, if you want to get the raw file so that you can train and so you don't have to fly to Venice to get this photo I give you a little trick if you go to my website called photosearch.com which is here uh, and you go on podcast you will see all the podcast uh, there is not this one because I'm recording it right now but you will see now for some episodes and only a few there is a share and download raw file the whole idea is that you're gonna have to like uh, it's all automatic you just like uh, like on uh, Facebook or plus one on Google Plus you have to share basically uh, my my website and in exchange you get for free the raw file that's because I was getting lots of email it's a bit you know it was a bit hard for me to to handle this way anybody can just go on my website photosearch.com and click and uh, get the raw file for free all you have to do is plus one it or, or, or like it on Facebook and it's all automatic and uh, if you want the link to my website it's uh, under the description of the video uh, last but not least uh, English tutorials I have a new tutorial coming out very soon it's not out yet and it's the first time I'm making a tutorial I'm just teasing it here a little bit where I was uh, I show you how I shoot and how I post process usually I just show the post processing now I took my wife who filmed me filmed me while shooting in Paris and in Israel and I show you the project from start to finish I give you all the raw file it's gonna be my best tutorial so far I've at least the hardest I've ever produced this took me months to produce and it's coming out in a few days in the meantime check out my packages here you can get for $25 or instead of $30 all my Lightroom training for $40 all my Photoshop training and for $63 both all the Lightroom and Photoshop training 30% discount actually this is one is the best deal okay guys uh, thank you very much and let's get back to the studio okay so I hope you like that tutorial it's very fun it's been a while I haven't done a full workflow from A to Z if you want to get the raw file uh, this time don't write me just go on my website and go on to podcast share and you will get automatically the raw file I think it's an easier way for most people to get it so you can train at home with this type of photo thank you very much and I'll see you next week